And welcome to uh, what is, I uh, hope, to be a very interesting afternoon where we have some young people here to make a presentation about something that's important to them. I thought we'd start with uh, our various uh, introductions. Let me first say who I am. I'm Stan Smith, and I'm with uh, the, uh, the spring of 2012 a group of the Diversity Leadership Initiative of uh, the Riley Institute, Furman University. And I'm here with my colleagues. I'm going to ask everyone to introduce That was Stan Smith introducing a presentation given by a group of 7th and 8th grade students from Lakeview Middle School in Greenville, South Carolina. The students were presenting their ideas to a group of Greenville County government and Furman University leaders representing the Poinsett Corridor Revitalization Project. This project was the culmination of the work done as part of what we called the Poinsett People Project. We set out to provide an opportunity for a diverse group of 7th and 8th grade students to become involved with their local community and for these students to develop a number of key skills to aid their future success. In this presentation, we'll discuss the Lakeview Middle School, the Poinsett Corridor Revitalization Project, our process, the students' presentation, and lessons learned. Located within the Poinsett District of Greenville County, Lakeville Middle School educates students from diverse backgrounds. The students are diverse racially, ethnically, by gender, and by classes. Some honors, some regular. Enrollment is roughly one-third white, one-third African American, and one-third Latino Hispanic. Student families have a 98% poverty rate, qualifying Lakeview as a Title I school. The school draws kids from the Poinsett Project area neighborhoods, including Washington Heights and Brutontown. Announced in January, the Poinsett Corridor Revitalization Coalition is a partnership between Furman University, Greenville County, local business, and interested community members. The goal is to revitalize the Poinsett Highway area from Cherrydale to Greenville, as well as the surrounding neighborhoods. This area is Greenville's gateway to Paris Mountain and the Blue Ridge Mountains to the north. While the Cherrydale area, just to the north of the Poinsett District, and downtown Greenville to the south are thriving, the Poinsett Highway Corridor and the adjacent neighborhoods are economically depressed. Part of the proposed revitalization effort includes constructing what's being called a linear park along a stretch of abandoned rail line at the heart of the district. This area is visible on both sides of Poinsett Highway. Our challenge to the middle school students was to ask them to present their response to this question. What would make the park attractive to middle schoolers? Over the course of two months, our Diversity Leadership Institute team met almost every week with a dozen 7th and 8th grade students from the Lakeview Middle School. These students, for the most part, are active in student government. We help them think about the project and prepare them for the presentation. The skills we covered included brainstorming, organization, media presentation, oral persuasiveness, and teamwork. In addition to working with our DLI team, the students met with their teacher and worked outside of class to refine their ideas and their presentation. On May 22nd, the students gave their presentation. The audience listening included representatives from Greenville County Government and Furman University. Here are some of the highlights from the students' presentation. The students began by introducing themselves, setting an agenda, and goals for the presentation. They also stressed how they believed their input was important because they would like to make their community better for everyone now and in the future. The students then began to describe the four main features they wanted to see in the park. The first idea was for an outdoor theater. In addition to a number of slides showing examples of that theater, they prepared this whiteboard diagram laying out the proposed outdoor theater area. The students said the theater would benefit families, couples, teenagers, local performers, and local business owners. They said an outdoor theater would bring the community together and it would serve as a showcase for local talent. 
The second idea was for a playground. The students said the playground would benefit mostly elementary school children, families in the community, and that family activities would be an important aspect of the success of this park. The students also suggested a mural for the park. They thought the mural should be unique, memorable, and meaningful to the community. They said it would benefit local artists and be enjoyed by all who saw it. Finally, the students proposed what they called a sprayscape. The sprayscape would be a fun part of the park with sprinklers and misters. They noted that a sprayscape is a good idea because in the summer, when you are hot, it can cool you off. You can bring your family there, and also because it would just be fun to run around and play in the sprinklers. The students also noted that a sprayscape would be less expensive and require less maintenance than a full water park. The students concluded by noting that they were excited by the ideas and the outcome of the planning process. They thanked the committee and then responded to questions. This project was an education, not only for the students, but also for our DLI team. We learned about Title I schools and how the Lakeview Middle School students' experience differed from our own experiences. We learned about the importance of caring teachers. Watching their teacher, Ms. Michelle Century, interact with her students was truly an inspiration. We learned that this type of project can help pull students together. We also saw that the students began as individuals and finished as a team. Finally, we were delighted that the students' ideas were so well received. The sprayscape idea was particularly interesting to the county planners, as was the students' emphasis on the importance of family activities in the park. We'd like to thank everyone who helped with this project. The students have been invited to present to the full board of the Poinsett Corridor Revitalization Coalition later in June. While there is yet no timetable on when the students will learn if their ideas are adopted, the students are now very much aware of the Poinsett Project and we hope Lakeview Middle School stays involved. We expect the students will continue to build on what they learned and, as student leaders, serve as role models for their peers. Finally. We are all grateful for the Diversity Leadership Institute for bringing us all together to work on this project. Thank you very much. <laughs>